Hey YouTube, how you guys doing today? Hope everybody is doing well. I have another short video for you guys today. Hope you guys like this. It is stupid hot out there. So I do apologize for the uh, short videos. But, um, well, let's just get right into it. First, before I do anything, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so when I post the video, you guys get it. So we're going to be talking about a, a, a common problem that a lot of you guys get. Let me get you guys in the stand and we'll get crack a lacking. Okay, so I went around and grabbed a couple of caps, just a couple, nothing, you know, nothing over the top. Um, we have fuel caps from all kinds of stuff, okay? We have Honda fuel caps. This is off of a Honda uh, 4 horsepower, um, was it the a GX120 um, lawnmower engine, a Briggs & Stratton, and many, many more. Okay, even the other Hondas, the Suzuki's. Um, we have a couple of Suzuki caps. These actually fit the same bike. Um, these are Kawasaki caps. They fit the same bike. Um, we got all kinds of caps. Just scooter caps. Newer Kawasaki caps. Tecumseh caps. All kinds of caps. And you're probably seeing yourself, Kevin, what is this all about? Why are you showing us a bunch of fuel caps? Okay, great. You get a few, you get a bunch of uh, fuel caps. Because there's something that happens with these fuel caps. And it's very, very common. And it's actually um, causing a lot of people to blow their minds. Okay, Kevin, I have cleaned the absolute living beep out of my pet cock. Okay, and my pet cock is so clean, you can eat off the thing. Um, I clean my carburetor, and you can eat off that thing, too. There is legit not a speck of dirt to be found in my fuel tank, in my carburetor, or in my pet cock. Okay, great. So, let's talk about that for a moment. Okay, so uh, all these caps have something in common. And that's why there's a variety of them. All these caps have one thing that's absolute certain about every single cap you see before you. Okay, all these caps have a vent. All right, on a Briggs and Stratton three and a half horsepower, these are the vent holes. On a Tecumseh, these are the vent holes. And it's fun, you know. To grab your stuff, guys. Grab your grab your caps. Grab your stuff and and, and take a look at it. You know, say hey, okay. Right there's a hole. There's a hole there. You know, check them out. Grab them. Say, hey, okay, this is pretty cool. All right, so this is a Suzuki cap for a DS80. All right, see how it's got the vent on top? This has the tube that goes over. Grab it. Take a look at it. There's the hole right there. Inspect your stuff. Just because you see a hole doesn't mean it might be clogged up inside the cap. Okay, so try blowing through it. It should only go in one direction. Some of them go in, in bi-directional. And then you're looking at this cap. Well, this cap doesn't have that. Cap, my cap doesn't have a vent on it. Yes, it does. It's somewhere on there. So watch this, guys. I'm going to take this cap and I'm going to rotate it around. Up, up, right there. There's the vent hole. Should be another one. Yep, there it is. Right there on that side. See? It, you think it looks like this right here and there's nothing there. You turn around, boom, there's the vent. There's your vent hole there. Having a vented cap... Is the most important part of your bike. All caps are vented. Here's the newest style right here. Okay, the newest style Kawasaki's. Right there's the vent. See how it's different? There's the vent right there. Here's your primary hole right here. Vapors go up through there. Boom. If you look at these caps, see how they got a couple screws? You could take these caps apart and clean them. On the regular Kawasaki KEs, KDs, KMs, and all that, there are four screws. You can take this out, clean the bath wall, and make sure that there's nothing in there. We'll get to, into that in a minute. So, all these caps, here's my Yamaha for my GT80. Okay, where's the vent on that? That vent's up under the side there, and it comes out right through here. Okay, real simple. Through the center, and then if you look, where are you? Right there, sick roof. Right there. That's where it comes out of. So, every single cap, doesn't matter which one, here's one from a, um, an MB5, okay? Then holes in the center, and if you look right here on the end, see the hole? That's it, that's where it vents. Vents under the cap. 
every single fuel cap has a vent. Period. If it has a fuel, if you have a fuel cap on your bike, you have a vent. That's it. Now, you know this. Now you can take apart your fuel cap. Don't be afraid to take them apart. Just go easy with them. Okay. Make sure you fit the proper screw driver to the um, the screw when you go take them apart. Because if you don't, let's take a look. Let's see what's inside one of these caps. Okay, so you have to undo your four screws. Just take it apart like this very carefully. You see all the crud in there? All the condensation, all the moisture that's gotten in there? And here's your valve right here. See if you can get that out. Here's your seal. You can inspect your seal. Make sure there's no cracks in it. Make sure it's sealing the tank properly. And then sometimes you have to give them a little tap. If you can't get it out like that, you're going to have to use a pick. Okay, let's see if I can get this out with a pick. This this cap is really in there tight, so I don't go break it too much. But you want to see if you if you can't get the cap out, just blow through it. If you suspect the cap and you don't want to break the cap, okay, here's a quick simple thing you can do: put the cap back together. So like I couldn't get this vent cap out. Okay, this that was sealed in there. This one can't come out. So if I can't blow through it, here's what you do: you put your cap back together you're gonna love this tip guys I put the cap all back together but I leave the seal out why do I leave the seal out you might ask I'll tell you why I leave the seal out so that the cap fits on there loose now the cap has no choice but to vent. It's not venting through here. It's venting through the side. Okay. But now let's go do an experiment. I'm going to show you guys what actually takes place. Okay. For this experiment, I'm going to use an oil tank. An old oil tank I have kicking around. It's a good oil tank, but I'm going to, I filled it up with water. That's why it's on side. This is a non-vented cap because it gets its vent from here. So this vent right here is simulating your fuel cap. Okay. This is sealed off here, and I'm going to show you guys why your bike runs and then slows down and dies. I'm going to put my finger blocking. The, I'm blocking right now. I'm going to block off the vent, and I'll see the water coming out. See how it's slowing down? It's trickling out. Now watch what happens. Right now I've got my fingers on the vent right there. All right, now watch what happens. I'm going to let go. One, two, three, let go. I'm going to put my finger over it, clogging the vent. See how it's slowing down the fuel? Back down to a trickle. This is what's driving you guys crazy because you're like, well, my carburetor is not getting gas. Right now, i got my finger on the, um, the vent and I'm blocking it. When I let go of the vent, steady fuel, which is actually water right now, and then it's slowing down to a steady drip. So this right here is a... Um, clogged fuel cap um, scenario. It's real simple. Just watch, ready? I'm gonna let go. There's your fuel right there. A healthy fuel cap will have a nice flow of fuel. A clogged one will slow down to a trickle. And that, my friends, is why your vent is a very important in your fuel cap. Open vent, close vent. Real simple. Alright, so now you guys understand why it's very important to check your fuel caps and, and check all that. Because that right there can actually cause a lean condition, guys. So, your lean condition could be due to a fuel cap that's not venting. Because you're not getting the fuel that the jet requires to run the engine. Causing it to be a lean condition. So keep that in mind as well. So... Inspect your seal. If you suspect your cap, 
you can remove your seal. If you remove the seal, it will get into the vent, you know, not the vent, but around the cap, suck into the tank, and then your bike should um, fire up and run good if you suspect your cap is the problem. If it is the problem, you can take the cap apart and clean it. If you have a cap in this case that I couldn't get the piece out, this cap is going to have to soak. Here's what you do with this cap. This cap right here came out of my drawer of caps, so I'm not going to go crazy over this cap. All right? But if I want to fix this cap, which I can easily do, I just take the cap and I let it soak in soapy water. Hot, soapy water. And that right there is the trick to getting these caps apart if you can't uh, do it any other way. Now, there is another vent on these bikes. And I want to show you, this is a very important vent. Kevin, my bike won't idle. Kevin, I go down the street and my bike just falls on its face. I wait a few minutes, I can restart the bike, and then this piece on earth again, I can drive this thing for another mile, and then it falls on its face, what could be my problem? I have had a bad run-in with many of these, and they're driving me nuts, but it's the name of the game, guys. See this little orifice right here? This is a jet. It's an air jet. This is also a vent. This vent, let me see if I can find a carburetor that's already taken apart so I don't have to remove the bowl on this thing real quick. Okay, I'm going to use this one. Do you see these holes? Those are vents. Those are the vents right there. Those lead up to your main jet, not your main jet, your uh, air jet in the front. That air jet is also for your choke as well. And this one is too. So it all it all works together. So there's your air vent for your choke on this particular one. Some of them don't have that. Some of them, like this one here, is blocked off. That's blocked off. It either gets it from the side or it gets it from that jet right there, the air jet. So keep that in mind. So your carburetor vents are very, very important as well. Make sure you're checking out all your vents. Your vent on your fuel cap, your vent on your oil cap. Your, your oil tank, which is not in your cap. That's an oil tank. Uh, oil tank doesn't have a vent. The tank itself has the vent on the back of the um, tank. As you saw me put my finger over, that's the vent. And that's typically a hose. It's kind of a hose like that right there, a clear hose that sticks off the back. Make sure, and I, I've already gone over this in many videos, but make sure that there is no um, spider nest in there or any dirt clogging. Because... What I showed you with that oil tank happens to your gas tank and it can happen to your oil tank, which can starve your engine for oil and cause you to have engine failure. All right. And a lot of people think that their oil pumps are bad and typically it's just a clogged vent. So I've had a lot of that going on as well. Understanding how these all work, all these bikes work, is what this channel is about. And I, hopefully you guys learned something today. And hopefully this fixes your, your bike. Because, like I said, a lot of people are having this issue. And uh, what does it? Dirt. Dirt clogs it up. What else clogs it up? Spiders. Ants. Anything that makes a, one of those type of um, those sand nests. Anything that has sand or any type of nest that they can make. Remember, insects like small orifices, small holes where they can build into, you know, that's what they go for. So they'll go up underneath the cap and get into your vents. It's a very common thing, especially here in New England, um, where I live. So it's a very, very common problem. So make sure, if you have a newer carburetor, same thing. Don't, don't think, you know, just clean them out. Those are your air jets in the front here. That's for your choke. Those right there for your, um, your jets. All orifices and jets and passageways have to be cleaned. So, anyway guys, that's what I got for you for today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Hopefully this video helps. And I am out.